We shall miss you, Haru. Good luck on your reassignment to the rescue center. Sorry, I'm late. <laughs> Leave it a pass, be slow. I'm only slow to bring you a present. It's the parachute you used to rescue me back in that flood. What would a whirly bird want with an old rag? Mm, I'm sure it'll come handy someday. Thank you, Percy. Not bad for a little chap. Not bad? Little chap? Oh, ho oh, oh. ho! Cheers, everyone! Try not to get into too much trouble, Percy. Chopper. That racket! It's just Percy shunting. On of my branch line will he shunt like that? Percy! What are you bumping trucks about? I'm arranging my cars, Thomas. We can't all do passenger work. Some of us do the real work. Real work? Let me tell you. Oh, come off of it, both of you. Percy, this wouldn't have anything to do with Harold's 50th rescue since he left our line. Even if it did, why would I care about that whirly bird? I'm too busy to, to, to think about it. Sounds like someone needs a nap. Awfully cranky. You know how he gets about Harold. He gets all upset about it. I think he misses him. And also is secretly jealous of him. Of what? It's not like Percy can fly. No, but all the tension in Harold gets. You know the two are rivals. They were much friendlier before he left. Now Percy gets mad whenever we mention him. Harold did kind of blow him off when he left. I'd be the same if you had to be a dirty old rag. All the same, Percy ought to be a lot more mature and not let a petty rival get in the way of his work ethic. <laughs> Running late today, Thomas? Think it is much. Oh, bother you. Oh, come along, you two. Ouch! Oh, be careful! So much for his work ethic, Annie. What on earth? <laughs> I see you've met our new friend. Apparently he and his pilot are moving in here. His name's Tiger Muff, and he's a bit, um... Reckless. That's all we needed. A reckless whirlybird flying about again. I prefer Harold to this guy. At least Harold was safe. <laughs> I have my doubts. Hoo-hoo! <laughs> Did you see that? Didn't touch anything this time. This time? Who are you? <laughs> I'd like you to meet my best friend in playing Tiger Moth. Or I wonder if Boss moved us here to Sodor. Says we need a new vibe. Love it here. Lots of space around. This is a railway, not a stunt track. Alright, lighten up, Slowpoke. Slowpoke? Ah, uh, come on, boy. Let's break some records. <laughs> More like some bones.
That stupid biplane comes back. Hello, Toby. Oh, hello, Percy. Have you seen the new biplane? Yes, he's rude and arrogant. He flew by dangerously and caused the crane operator to drop his crates and cause an accident. He's been wrecking havoc. Yeah, he insulted me and Thomas. His pilot's not much better. Things were so much better when Hal was here. That stupid whirly bird? Oh, come on now, Percy. You know you and Harold were friends, and Harold never caused this much trouble. True, but he's still a nuisance. All air vehicles are the same. Now you sound like James, and no, they're not. Harold stops trouble when Tigermoth causes it, but they're both good at what they do, and they both don't have to rub it in. Percy, you wouldn't happen to be jealous of Harold, would you? Why would I? The silly thing always boasts too much and tried to annoy me whenever possible. I'm glad he's gone. You miss him? No, I don't. Yes, you do. I know you two had a very special relationship. You had a good rivalry with him and you missed that. Now he's on to bigger and better things than you. Afternoon, chaps. I'm here on investigation business. Can't spend all my time flying and visiting chaps like you lot. Hello, Harold. Have you heard of a lad called Time Off? We've been getting reports about his recklessness. Figures things go down the tombs while I'm away. You know what, Harold? Yes, we've heard about him. He's been here before. Well, once I locate him, his pilot will be taken into custody and Time Off will be grounded. I'll be needing your assistance in finding him. Oh, if you hang about, you'll find him eventually. Or he'll find you. I've no time for that. I'm on patrol. Hanging about is your job. I still beat you in that race on a technicality, my dear Percy. Now, we've treaded far too long, and I must be on my way. So long, chaps. You miss him. I don't. You're dynamic just now. You got so passionate just then. Because he boils my boiler. Mm-hmm. You ever heard of keeping your enemies close, Percy? Yes, but... You and Harold's friendship was built on your adversity. Him flying in the air, you on the rails, that, that friendly banter, that competition, you miss it. With one missing, you miss that component, and there's something else. What? Harold could have gone to the airfield to find Tigermore. Well, he came here to find you. Think about that. Hmm. He's right. Oh, Percy, don't get all sentimental on us. Morning, Percy. Morning. How are you feeling? Toby told me about your whole thing yesterday. What did he say? That you're jealous and Miss Harold? I am not! Percy misses the helicopter because he's nothing but a failing flap! Oh, be quiet! You know, you and I both know that Toby can sometimes be full of it. But I actually agree with him here. Maybe I do too, but what of it? I bet you want to prove something to Harold. Even if I did, how could I? I take trucks to the harbor and bring others back. He goes about flying, saving people, and, and carrying rescue ops, and... Look, guys, it's Green-Eyed Percy. Stuff it, you lot. There's no shame in having some variety to your work ethic. Look at me. Now, I do more than just shunt trucks around the quarry. You've got to spread your wings a little bit. But I don't have wings. I have wheels and coupling rods. I just meant you need to chase some variety. But how? It'll come. Trust me. Now I must get back to the quarry. I have a mess to clear up. What happened? That darn plane he flew through way too low, knocked over some loose rock, and caused a rock slide. Luckily, it was before the workmen arrived. Otherwise, it could have been fatal. Hey, I bet if you caught that stupid thing, that settled the score between you and Harold. Don't see how I could. Percy, I stopped to run away at a dangerous lorry driver once. I'm sure you'll think of something. You're clever enough to make Thomas think you were a ghost. Hey, 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 I was pretending. I didn't want him to feel ashamed after all the work he'd put into his efforts. Nice try, Percy. Well, Thomas, you must have been acting really well. You fooled me. You should try out for the theater. Very funny, Percy. I'm off now. Goodbye. Goodbye, <laughs> Goodbye Percy. Percy.
Ah, uh, what's the damage? Some minor damage to your wing, mate. We can shake that off. You weren't the one who hit the trees. That hurt. Now we're gonna get reported. Hey, hey, that's why we're here and not at the airfield. Great, now we have a flopper chopper on our tail. I have a plan. Listen, relax. We go at night. He can't find us. Hmm, I'd love to try a few things at night. See, for us, Tiger Moth, not even the sky's the limit. Ah! Percy, I need you to stay at the harbor after your mail run. There's an appointment shipment coming in and I need you to arrange them. Yes, sir! Oh, and Percy, if that bothersome biplane is about, please report him immediately. I have enough nuisance on a daily basis. Good day, Percy. Bye, sir! What's that buzzing noise? We've got company. I'm not bother an engine! Stay calm, I'm sure he doesn't notice us. He's heading straight for the harbor! I'll scare him off. What? Knock it off, you! I can't see! Pull up, pull up, pull up! Oh, I gotta put you down, mate. I'm losing you. Help! Driver, look! They're heading straight for the harbor. Hurry, Percy! Ah, here comes our boat. And trouble! Look out! Oh no! The death bugger tried to scare us. I think we scared him. Never mind that, we need your help. We need that ship now before she goes under. Right, I just need a line. I believe I can help with that. Catch this! Got it! Phew! We're not done yet, chap. We need this vessel unloaded and this crew safely on land. I'll take care of the nuisance. I knew you always had an affinity for water chap, but you needn't be so expressive with it. <laughs> Very funny, Harold. Oh, I do miss our little talks. Good work, Percy. You too. So you finally admit it. I never said... Oh, leave the poor chap alone, Toby. He's been through enough last night. Indeed you have. I needed you here longer than usual. I didn't expect you to be here so long, Percy. I'm glad you did what you did. As for you, Robert Topper... I'm sure you know you'll be grounded for a while. Yeah, yes. Yes, sir! But, but what about my boy? What's gonna happen to him? I'm sure your uncle can find work from him at his fair. Jolly good! Oh, it's always good work, Harold. Percy, you deserve some rest. Hmm, he does need it. Harold! No. <sighs> He's right. I do need it. Good night.
Well, you see now, Donald, with all due respect, I thought we were done with the secret work. Oh, you were. However, I do have one last surprise inside. <laughs> Can I wait for the others to see it? I enjoy secrets as much as the next engine, but can we move along, please? I'd like to sleep sometime this century. All in good time, little one. <laughs>